Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to this week's edition of New Makeup Sunday. So I know I did one of these two weeks ago and I said I was going to be doing them monthly, but I got so many products in this week and I'm not going to have time to review them all. So I thought I'd just put everything together in a haul and show it to you. And then that way you guys can tell me and let me know what you'd like to see reviews on. Um, I just won't have time to get into everything, unfortunately, but I figured this way you guys can take a look and let me know. And this helps me out a lot because then I can figure out what you guys are interested in. So I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into the video because I feel like it's going to be a really long one. So let's get started. Hey guys, it's Tuesday afternoon and all of this stuff just showed up today. We did have the holiday on Monday, so the mail was delayed a day, but this is just way more than I would normally get in a day. It just all showed up at once. I guess it's just kind of that time of year. So I may end up doing Sunday hauls a little bit more frequently as we get closer to the holidays, just because I think there's way too much stuff to do full reviews on, but I still want to show it to you guys. So let's go ahead and just start opening all this stuff up. All right, so first up, Wet n Wild sent over this haunted house full of their Fantasy Makers Halloween makeup. So let's go ahead and open this guy up and see what's inside. So in here we have the new Halloween palettes, um, at least two of them. I see this one and then this one right here. This is kind of falling out. Hold on. Actually, there's two rows of things. Oh my gosh, no wonder it was so heavy. Okay, so we have... Everything right here, it looks like um, a cream paint palette, this palette, uh, glitters. This one is a shade shifting blush. We have a Mega Glow highlighting powder that looks black. Another paint pot down here. Some lip products all along the bottom. Then in this one, we have basically the same exact things, just in different colors. So here we have another paint palette, this palette. A uh, highlighter that's more white. We have a glitter palette again, and then all of the lip products down here. A white paint pot, and then we have like a loose pigment. And then also we have some cool stencils. Wow, and then here's this row. Again, same things, just different colors. So I'll just show you some quick close ups. There's the glitters. These shade shifting blushes look really kind of cool and interesting. All right, and then here is the last tray. So tons and tons of Wet n Wild stuff to play with. This is really exciting. I do have the palettes already, so I'll probably put those in a giveaway, but I really haven't tried any of this other stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and just comb through and you know, see what I wanna play with. If there's anything that you guys would like to see reviews on or anything, let me know down below. Next up, I got a big box from Pixie Beauty, and they sent over their latest round of influencer collabs. So there's, I think, five different ones, and these have been out a little while. Actually, I saw them at Target several weeks ago, and basically what's in here is an eyeshadow palette. We also have a face palette from Rach Loves. Um, then two of the glowy powders, which I actually really loved the last round of them. They were almost more like blushes. These kind of look more like highlighters, and they look like they might be a little too dark for me too, but we'll definitely have to swatch them. And then an endless eyeshadow stick. I love those, so I can't wait to see what that color is like. And then there's these two different kits with the liquid fairy lights, liquid eyeshadows, and then the matte last liquid lips, which are actually, as far as matte liquid lipsticks go, not too bad. They're not too drying. And then last but not least, we have these new lip icings, which look like shimmery glosses. So why don't we go ahead and take everything out and we'll do some swatches. All right, so I just laid everything out. I wanted to take a photo for Instagram. So let's check out the Rach Loves palette first. Unfortunately, when I opened this up, one of the shades was shattered, so it made a huge mess. I kind of cleaned up the palette as best I could, but I want to go ahead and just swatch these shades for you anyway. And then if I can't fix this one or press it back down, I'll probably just empty it out and use the other ones. But this one is a highlighting palette. So let me just quickly look at the box and see what it says about it. So this says it has five multi-use glow shades so they can be used on lids and cheeks so that's great that they're eye safe it says silky soft formula for the ultimate face glow and lid hues enhance and add luminosity colors curated and designed by rachel to be mixed together or used solo so why don't we go ahead and just swatch these colors it looks like all of them have some degree of shimmer to them this lilac one is probably the least amount of shimmer but it almost looks like a pretty duochrome so let's check it out these look like they're going to be really good they feel nice and soft Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that at all. Wow, I didn't even think I had that much on my finger. Okay, those are super high impact, but yet really like smooth and silky without chunky glitter particles or anything like that. So those are the top three shades. 
And we'll try to carefully dip into this one and this one. All right, so here's the broken one. Oh, that one is so pretty. I hope I can fix it. And then there's that. So yeah, I mean, unfortunately, I'm not super big on highlighter, but if I was, this would be a beautiful palette. And I think these would also look pretty on the eyes, but I'm not likely to reach for this palette just for like one color because I really wouldn't be making a full eye look with this. There's no matte shades or anything, but that purple is so gorgeous and these shimmers are just so smooth and beautiful. So if you're into highlight, I think this might be one to check out for sure. I don't think it's worth it to buy it just if you're going to use it on your eyes. But then again, that's just me. You guys might feel differently. So next up we have the eye palette. This one actually looks a lot prettier than it did when I saw it in the box initially. I was thinking it just had like kind of red and orange shades, but it's actually really beautiful. This purple over here is so pretty and this brown kind of leans a little bit purple and then you have this pink right here and these really soft peachy tones. It's just not what I was thinking. That color also looks really stunning. So just quickly, this one says it's a palette of super silky mineral shadows in light reflective shades that make it easy to create stunning looks with a few sweeps. So let's go ahead and just swatch this. These feel super buttery. They pick up very easily as well, at least with a finger. <gasps> Look at that. Whoa. I haven't tried Pixie's eyeshadows in a while, but that is really swatching nicely so far. I also love that they included this matte right here. It's great for just blending out edges and stuff like that. All right, so here's three matte shades. They're really soft and velvety. All right, and then let's do the last two. Oh my gosh, that color is so pretty. All right, so this is a lot different than I actually thought it was gonna be. Obviously, it's not groundbreaking shades. I'm sure we all have them in our collections and various palettes, but I do like the combination of these here, and I love that you get these two transition shades, one that's a little more brown, one that's more peachy. You also have a deeper brown for the outer corner. This berry purple would be stunning on the lid. Also, this one is kind of more unique, and this coppery shade is really beautiful as well. It kind of has everything you need to create looks, so I actually really like this one a lot. All right, so now let's move on to the glowy powders. These say the multi-dimensional highlighter has prismatic particles that give the most gorgeous radiant glow. Um, so this one is the shade Wednesdays, and then this one is called Fetch. So obviously Mean Girls inspired. So let's swatch them. That looks gorgeous. Again, like if I was into highlighter, I would be loving this. This one could possibly be used as a blush though, because it's more of a pinky tone but it is super metallic. I wonder how that would look if you just kind of blended it out on the cheeks a little bit more. I don't know, it's really, really shiny. And then here's Fetch. This one's more coppery. I mean, they're very smooth, again, like not chunky at all. If I were into highlighter and I had a little bit deeper skin tone, I think these would be so stunning, but I could definitely find another use for these and wear them on my eyes, because I think they would make gorgeous lid colors as well. All right, so next let's try this Endless Shade Stick, and this one is in the shade One and Done, and let's just see what the description says. It says, this shadow stick makes it quick and easy to create a beautiful look that is also smudge-proof, so clutch, so again, with the Mean Girls theme. So let's just swatch it right here. I love these shadow sticks, by the way. I think they're a great affordable alternative like to nude sticks. They stay a really long time, and they don't budge or crease on me, which is great. So this one's just, again, like a nice coppery shade. They do give you a little bit of time to kind of just blend it out, and then they set after maybe like 30 seconds, and they last all day. So that shade is really pretty. And then let's just swatch these two kits from Miriam really quick. You have a Liquid Fairy Lights eyeshadow and then a Matte Last liquid lipstick in each one. So this one is the Day Kit, and it comes with the shade Mirage for the eyes and Coral Bang for the lips. So let's do the eye one first. These ones I think are really nice as well. They kind of remind me a lot of the Stila liquid eyeshadows. They're very similar. They are really pigmented. They last a long time on the eyes and they're really nice and foiled. So there's that color. And these matte lipsticks too, like I said before, they are really nice for matte liquid lipsticks. They're very soft and velvety and they're slightly drying, but not as bad as some and they do last a really long time. I love the colors, they're nice and pigmented. They're not streaky or patchy going on either. So that color is actually really beautiful. 
And then this one is the nighttime kit. So you get the lipstick in Posh Nude. And then the eyeshadow is Starry Night. This one looks so gorgeous as well. And if you hear any noise in the background, it's just my son. So he's sitting right here. All right, so Starry Night. Whoa, that is insane. Oh my gosh. I don't know that I would wear that, but I can appreciate how gorgeous that is. And then here's Posh Nude. This is a color I would definitely wear. It's like the perfect nude. It has a little bit of pink in it. I don't think it's so light that it's going to make me look washed out. It looks like it's going to be so beautiful. All right, and then last but not least, we have these lip icings from Chloe Morello, and it says this liquid lip adds a 3D glimmer. Use on bare lips or on top of lip color for an instant glow boost infused with nourishing rosehip and marula oil. So here's the first shade. It's called Parfait. Oh my gosh, this is so iridescent and beautiful. It has a nice lavender kind of pink shift to it. This next one is called Sorbet. This one's bluish, but it also has, again, like kind of a lavender shift to it. And then the last one is called Bon Bon. And this one is more of like a hot pink, but it's very sheer. And I also just quickly want to mention these do have a very slight scent to them. To me, they kind of smell like an orange creamsicle. So nothing super overpowering. I think it would fade almost immediately when you put these on because I really had to put my nose up close to smell them. But just wanted to mention it in case you're sensitive to fragrance. So anyway, guys, that is everything from Pixie Beauty. So let me know if you'd like to see a review on all of these products or on some of them. I could always do kind of just a video on all the products and try everything on for you guys. If you'd like to see that, let me know down in the comments below. All right, and then next up, I got a box from Profusion, and it says, with the new season comes new goodies. This box includes a sampling of completely brand new items from Profusion. For the first time ever, we're premiering single items like eyeliner, mascara, shadow primer, a liquid highlighter, and even false lashes. By mid-October, these products will be hitting our website and select Walmart locations, so they do have a store locator on their website. We really hope you enjoy these premiere items and can't wait to get your feedback. So everything is super inexpensive. Every Everything is $3.99 with the addition of the foaming lashes, which are $6.99. So let's go ahead and just open all these up and check them out. All right, so here's a look at everything. I love the black and rose gold packaging. I think it's really pretty. So here's a look at the lashes. Again, $6.99 for five pairs. You also get the adhesive. So it looks like they're probably all the same. Yeah, these are called the Big T's Fullest Wispies. I'm not sure if there are other varieties, and this is just the one that they happen to send me, or if this is the only one they have at the moment. But it's supposed to have a flexible, invisible band, and they're also cruelty-free and handmade. They have a quick-dry lash adhesive that makes them easy to apply and remove. Next up, we have the Wing It Super Fine Eyeliner. This says create the perfect cat eye with the super fine liquid eyeliner. The micro tip applicator and easy glide formula is perfect for creating subtle and natural to bold and dramatic looks. Perfect for everyone from beginners to pro. All right, so here's a look at the eyeliner. They weren't kidding about a tiny little tip. That's amazing. I hope it's a brush tip because I like those better than felt tips. So let's see. Oh my gosh, yes, it is a brush tip. Look at how black that is too. And it wasn't like skipping or patchy at all. So nice. So I kind of did a little thicker line. Let me try to get it like a thinner one going. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. I wonder if this is going to replace like the Kat Von D tattoo liner for me. I haven't repurchased that since like all of her scandals and everything. And I really loved the Jessie's Girl one, but that one seems to be discontinued. I can't find them anymore. So I am very excited about that. $3.99. I mean, if it lasts on the eyes, that's going to be so good. Next up, we have the Lash Out Loud Length, Volume, and Lift Mascara. So they have kind of a before and after, which looks really promising. And I am so excited about this because drugstore mascaras can be amazing. Like it's one of those things that I don't think you have to spend a lot of money on because there's so many amazing drugstore formulas. But even like three. $3.99 is cheap for the drugstore, so let's check this out. Maybe I'll actually put this on one day this week, and then I'll just pop on the video and let you know how it worked out for me. But again, it has that really pretty kind of hexagon packaging. And then, oh, here's a look at the brush, which I'm very excited. It's not a big, thick brush. It's very nice and thin, which will be great for getting up close to the lash line. 
It also has kind of that hourglass shape, like the Too Faced Better Than Sex, but this brush is actually a little smaller than that, which is perfect. So again, I'll let you guys know once I had a chance to test this one out. All right, and then last but not least, we have the Bling It On Glitter Eyeliners. They sent over two shades. I'm not sure if these are the only two at the moment, but there's Crystal Diamond and Gold Rush. All right, so first let's try the shade Gold Rush, and this one also has a really teeny tiny little brush on it, which is great. So let's go ahead and swatch this color. I mean, it's kind of similar to other glitter eyeliners where usually it kind of trails off as you're trying to draw it on, but if you just build it up a little bit, that is so pretty. Look at how vibrant the glitter is in it. And then this one is Crystal Diamond. It's just like a silver glitter. So anyway, I'm not really a glitter eyeshadow person, but if you really want to see me like try these out or do a wear test, if I get a lot of requests for it, I could definitely do that. Also, I will let you guys know about the mascara and the eyeliner as well. This definitely is showing a lot of promise. Very, very excited about it. I may just do like a full face of new drugstore stuff at some point and try out a whole bunch of new things. So if you'd like to see that, let me know down in the comments below. All right, and then next up, I got a couple of skincare products. The first one is from Good Molecules, and this is their new Pure Cold Pressed Rose Hip Seed Oil. It says it's an antioxidant rich facial oil that delivers natural vitamin A and helps restore skin's elasticity. And the card that they sent over says that um, oftentimes lower prices can come at the expense of those who cannot stand up for themselves, farmers, workers, and the environment, but it doesn't have to be that way. At Good Molecules, we prefer to directly source our ingredients. This eliminates markup from middlemen. It also lets us make sure the ingredients come from a place in which all parties are treated with respect. So um, this is $10. I did look it up on the website, so I just wanted to quickly open it up and just see what it feels like. It says here to warm a few drops between palms and gently press into damp skin, best absorbed after water-based serums, and it's suitable for daily use, both a.m. and p.m. So here's the little bottle. It's really cute. I actually like that it's a smaller size because usually with oils, you're not using a lot, and those larger bottles, I feel like they go bad quicker than you can use them up. So let's see. It feels like a really nice lightweight oil, yet super hydrating at the same time. I love, especially in the wintertime, layering an oil on top of my moisturizer just to seal everything in. It really makes such a huge difference. So yeah, as you can see, I mean, my skin pretty much just drank that up almost immediately. It doesn't feel oily anymore. It just completely disappeared. So just looking at the two, this one looks a lot more moisturized than this one. My hands are always dry because I wash them so often. But yeah, so very excited to test this out. I love Good Molecules. I think they're such an amazing brand. They're so affordable and the ingredients are really great. I also got some new goodies from Colleen Rothschild. She has the new Micro Mineral Duo featuring rose quartz, and it says that there's a Micro Mineral resurfacing scrub that takes physical exfoliation to the next level. For someone who's seeking a smoother complexion, fewer breakouts, and an even skin tone, she's your girl. Then the Micro Mineral Soothing Toner adds a layer of lotion-like comfort to needy skin by restoring essential hydration. So it looks like it's $84 for the two products. It would be $116 if you bought them separately. And it also includes a 60 count super soft facial cotton and a metal tube roller key. So those are great if you have products that are in tubes and you want to be able to squeeze every last drop out of it. So, yep, she just included the super soft facial cotton. I love these. I got these with her last toner and they were so awesome. They're really soft. All right, so here's a look at the Micro Mineral Resurfacing Scrub. I love her packaging, by the way. I love the brown tubes that they come in. I think it's just so sleek and pretty, and it's different, you know? It's not like white or black. I actually really love the brown. I think that's awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and just put a little bit on the back of my hand. I just wanna try this out. Okay, so this feels like a very fine scrub for sure, which is good. I love fine scrubs for the face. I think they're really, really effective. And I've been using prescription retinol recently and my skin is starting to peel a little bit and they said not to use chemical exfoliants because it'll dry out my skin too much, but that if I wanna use a physical exfoliant, it'll get rid of those flakes on the surface. So this is gonna come in handy for that, I'm sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse and then we'll see what this hand looks like compared to the other one. All right, I'm back. So you can definitely tell that this hand looks a lot smoother than this one. Um, it almost looks like a different color. It just looks brighter overall. So that is going to be a really awesome scrub. I can already tell it was gentle yet super effective at the same time. 
And then this toner I'm also really excited about. I think this is kind of a trend lately of toners that are almost like a lotion-y toner hybrid. So yeah, right away just looking at this, it looks like it's very thick and kind of lotion-like. So let's go ahead and just put a little bit on my hand now that I've exfoliated. So yeah, this is definitely like a thicker texture. It almost feels like a serum in a way. It feels so nice, oh my gosh, on my dry skin, so good. And it has a very, very light kind of fresh floral scent. So this just feels so soothing and so hydrating. It's gonna be amazing. I can already tell I'm gonna be using this all winter long. All right, yeah, and then here's the key that she was talking about. So you can just slip this into the top of the tube and then just start to roll it down as it goes. And then when it gets down to the bottom, you'll be able to squeeze out every last drop, which is really cool. So you get all of this for $84, the scrub, the toner, and then all 60 of these cotton pads. So I think that's a pretty good deal for luxury skincare. Her skincare is amazing. I've been talking about it for years and years. I've just had such great results with all of it. So if you'd like to see a follow-up video on this or just a video on Colleen's products in general, I have so many of them now. So I can definitely share my thoughts with you if you guys are interested. I also got a package from Starskin. It says, here's a little something new to protect you and your eyes day and night. And I am so excited for this. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I loved their Orglamic Pink Cactus uh, moisturizer. That one came out last winter and I was obsessed with it. I actually just finished my jar really recently and it was like the most hydrating cream ever. I know a few of you guys had purchased it after seeing my video and loved it as well. It says it's a super concentrated eye cream with shea butter, avocado oil, it enhances radiance, helps smooth out and minimize the look of fine lines and wrinkles. It has a creamy velvety texture that spreads easily, absorbs quickly, and doubles as the perfect makeup base. So let's take a look inside. It also says that it's silicone free. So here's the little bottle right here. Just go ahead and put it on my other hand. It feels really nice and creamy. It has the same kind of lavender-like scent that the original moisturizer has, which I really like. I see where they get the name velvet from because my skin is taking on a very velvety feel like the oil over here on this side made it feel like really soft and bouncy kind of but this just feels like super velvety and soft right now so oh that's amazing I cannot wait to put that underneath my eyes and they also sent over this bracelet which is super cute as well it's like an eye bracelet so thank you so much to star skin this is amazing I cannot wait to try this all right, so next up, there are three new e.l.f. palettes that I purchased from their website. I haven't seen these in stores yet, but if you guys have seen them, like at Target or anything, definitely let me know. So the three new palettes are $10 each, and they're called Hot Chocolate Eyes. So there's a Spice Edition, Sugar Edition, and then Everything Nice. Unfortunately, this one did have a broken shadow. Actually, two broken ones. This one broke as well, but at least it's still mostly intact. This one was completely crumbled and kind of went all over my desk here. So um, I did keep a little bit of it left around the edge just so I could swatch that shade but it's kind of a bummer so anyway I did post about these on my Instagram page last week I think or the week before because to me these look a lot like Natasha Denona palettes this one here looks a lot like the gold palette and then this one kind of reminded me of either the sunset palette or sunrise I'm not 100% sure but I'm gonna have to just do a comparison and then this one with the purples kind of made me think of Lila I don't think they're exact dupes now that I see them in person I think the promo photos made them look a little bit more like that um, but why don't we go ahead and just just pull those out and we'll take a quick look. Okay, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on this just because I plan to do a whole video on these palettes anyway in a few days, hopefully um, early this week. So just looking at them side by side, um, definitely some similarities, but I'm gonna say they're not exact dupes. You don't have the gold shades in the e.l.f. palette at all. It does have the greens, it does have the neutrals. It kind of has like this greenish gold shade here, which looks a little similar, but it is missing some elements of it, so definitely not exact. All right, and then here's everything nice next to the Lila palette, and I also see some very similar shades. I think there's going to be a couple exact dupes in here maybe, but you are missing the deep purple shimmer that's in the Lila palette and a few other ones that I can see right off the start. And then here's the Sunset palette. You do have that bright yellow that jumps out at you right away. You have the orange in the e.l.f. palette. But then the e.l.f. one also has those purples that the Sunset palette doesn't have. I think a lot of the neutrals look very similar, but I'm going to go ahead and pull out the Sunrise palette because it might actually be closer to that one. 
All right, so yeah, it might actually be a little closer to this one because it does have the purple in here and also kind of that orangey shade that's in the center of the e.l.f. palette is also in this one as well. So without swatching them side by side, I'm just going to say that these look like they are inspired by Natasha Denona, but they weren't trying to completely straight out dupe them. So we can go ahead and just swatch a couple shades in these palettes and just get a feel for the formula really quick. But like I said, I did plan to do a whole video on them in the next couple of days, so I don't want to spend too much time on it and be redundant. All right, so let's just quickly do a couple shades from each palette. I'll do some of the matte shades as well as some shimmers. So I definitely want to see what this matte yellow is like. Also, let's do one of these shimmers here and maybe this greenish one. Okay, so the shimmers feel creamy and they feel soft. And then the yellow, definitely not as vibrant right off the bat as the Natasha Denona palette. It did feel a little bit scratchy in the pan, um, but the pigmentation isn't bad. All right, so let's try a few from this palette. I wanna see what this green is like, and this green also, and then maybe the silver. Oh, that's actually not bad at all. That surprised me because it did also feel a little bit scratchy. Those shimmers are really nice. I think the silver's a little better than this one pigmentation wise, but I mean, for a $10 palette, I'm not complaining with this pigmentation at all. All right, so then let's do a few from this pinky purple palette. Definitely wanna do a matte shade here and then maybe like a deeper color. That is beautiful, that color, I love that. Here's the matte. Eh, that one's a little bit more lackluster. That one went on really nicely too. So, I mean, again, they're $10 palettes, so just initially swatching them, they seem pretty decent actually. So um, I will be trying these out on my eyes just over the next couple of days, over this weekend, and then um, hopefully Monday or Tuesday, I can get up a video on these and then also swatch them next to the Natasha Denona and just see how much of dupes they really are. Next up, I got a package from Nabla Cosmetics and I always get so excited when I get mail from them. I just love them as a brand so much. I don't think I've tried anything from their line that I didn't like. So these are the new Skin Glazing Glass Skin Finish Glow Powders. So these look really interesting. I saw them on their uh, Instagram and while I'm not into highlighters, these almost don't seem like exactly the highlighters that we're used to. And in a lot of the pictures I was seeing, they were actually using them as more of like illuminating blushes as well. So I think some of the shades look more like highlighters and then others look more like blushes. So there's several different shades to choose from. And these are supposed to be super smooth and almost like imperceptible on the skin. They're also supposed to be um, like kind of a skin smoothing formula as well, which is great for those of us who have textured cheeks that, you know, kind of tend to stay away from anything too shimmery or glittery. I'm really dying to see what these actually look like on the skin. So there's six different shades, and then they also send over some brushes. I believe even the brushes and the bag are available for purchase on their website as well. They have a sale going on right now. I think if you spend over 60 euros, which I'm not sure how that converts to dollars, but if you spend over 60 euros, you actually get this bag for free. And I wanna say the brushes are on sale for around 10 euros each, and then the blushes are 17 each um, on sale, regularly 22. But um, I'm not sure when these will be coming to Ulta for those of us in the US. I'm sure they will at some point. But if you don't wanna wait, just know that they are available on sale right now on Nabla's website. I've ordered from them a whole bunch of times and you know the shipping does take a little while from Italy, like maybe one to two weeks, but everything's always packaged really nicely. So let's go ahead and open these up and do some swatching. Also, just in case you're wondering, these are made in Italy and they're all 100% vegan. All right, so let's start out with the shade Ozone. So here's what that looks like. They look incredibly shiny in the pan. So I'm really curious to see how these are gonna look on the skin. Okay, so it's definitely like very, very reflective, like a highlighter, but not glittery at all. Um, it just looks shiny. So that's, if I was into highlighter, this is definitely the type that I would wanna use. All right, and then this one is Amnesia. It's more of a golden shade. Then we have Privilege. This one looks kind of um, more of like a champagne color. 
Oh, that one is even smoother, actually. That one is beautiful. And then this one is called Truth. This one looks like you could definitely use as a blush. So even though it does have a glow to it, like it doesn't look shimmery or glittery. I think I could definitely get away with wearing that as just more of a glowy blush. And I don't think it's going to highlight texture just because it looks so smooth, at least on my hand. I just dug my nail into this one. All right, this one's called Adults Only. That's really pretty too. Definitely too dark for my skin tone, but um, again, not super shiny, just like a little hint of a glow. And then this one is called Lucent Jungle. So pretty. All right, so there you have all the shades. I am dying to try this one truth on my cheeks and see how this looks as a blush. So I'll keep you guys updated. If you'd like to see a video on these, definitely let me know down below. Okay, so I'm just coming back in quickly because I totally forgot to mention the brushes. So this one is the Cheek Shaper, and it's more of like a tapered brush. It feels so soft. It's one of the softest brushes I actually have ever felt. It's amazing. And then we have the Highlighter Brush, which is, again, just really fluffy. I think that's going to be so perfect for highlighting the cheeks. And then there's also a flatter blush brush, which again, it just feels so soft. So as I said before, these are 10 euros each on sale right now. And then um, the highlighters are 17. So I want to say it's probably like 19 or 20 US. But again, these might also show up at Ulta sometime soon. All right, so last but not least, Milani had sent over their Halloween collection lipsticks. So we have um, Amore Satin Matte Lip Creams. We also have the Metallic Matte Lip Creams and then the regular Amore Mattes. These are $7.99 and $8.99 and available now at MilaniCosmetics.com and also at major food, drug, and mass retailers. So I thought I'd just go ahead and swatch these colors for you guys really quick. All right, so let's start with the mattes. This is the Matte Metallic in the shade Vampy. And then this is the matte metallic in Magic. It's like a deep midnight blue with shimmer. This one is Wicked, which is a matte black. And then this one is Vixen, which is also a matte. All right, so then for the satin mattes, we have Femme Fatale. This one is Violet. Sorry, that last one was actually Violet Villain. This one is Crimson Curse. And then we have Leather. And then the last one is Sorceress. So anyway, I just wanted to swatch those for you guys since Halloween is right around the corner. If you guys are looking for lipsticks for your Halloween costumes, if you plan to go out or get dressed up, I highly recommend Milani's formulas. I think the Amore mattes are great for a matte formula. The satin ones are beautiful as well. These are definitely not my colors and not what I would normally wear, but again, I think they are perfect for Halloween. All right, guys, so that's everything that I have. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also, please don't forget to comment down below if you haven't already during the video, just what you'd like to see going forward with reviews. I am going to review those e.l.f. palettes for sure, but if there's anything else you wanted to see, don't forget to let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.